Hello there YouTube, we are back and uh, we're getting ready to get into some more painting with our Von Burke Studios head sculpts, pauldrons, little uh, hand cannons, you can see there's our little sword staff piece right there. Worked on that in our last video. We got some new paint in. We're gonna start working on our two inner pieces there and uh, keep building towards our squad. It's your guy, Kent Cool Collects. More painting, let's go. <laughs> So I changed my mind. We're gonna try something else. Uh, this is a storm host silver. And uh, we're gonna try to dry brush this in to uh, hopefully give a cool look to our how he kind of has like the bolts, the staples. So we're just gonna try dry brushing this in. Uh, because it was a brand new paint, of course I got uh, brand new paint all over myself. Cause uh, when I'm ripping like the seals there, I always make a mess. So we're gonna do a little bit of dry brushing. And because those stick out, hopefully, we'll just mostly catch those spots and we'll get a cool little effect going on here. And again, always, uh, Always just kind of take your time, use uh, less paint because you can always put more paint on. And again, because we're dry brushing, hopefully we have just enough paint where it's kind of catching those spots that are kind of sticking out. <clears throat> and so yeah, that is really cool. I like how the first one kind of went through. Definitely gives this guy a little bit of character. And if we get just a little bit on there, like especially on the helmet will be okay because we're gonna our mask we're gonna come back and touch that up And I think you got just a couple up there. I don't know what y'all think. <clears throat> cool little addition, right? <clears throat> 
Let me move this out of the way. Maybe that'll make it easier to focus. But uh, let me take a closer look under the light and I'll see if I can't uh, get him kind of finished up. All right, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Might, uh, might have to do a little bit of touch up on the red, got a little silver in there. We'll touch up the mask as we uh, get into it, but uh, pretty happy with that design there and where we've gotten to paint wise. All right, check out this uh, beautiful hunter. And we are actually gonna start on her base coat. So we have this, uh, what is it, Rakathra Flesh or base paint. And this is just gonna be our first round. Um, because she has a smaller surface and compared to our other two head sculpts, uh, the other two not having hair, I am going to use this palette and I just wanna make sure I'm not gonna go quite as thick as I was with the last two because like I was saying, smaller surface definitely want to avoid the hair the mask so i'm just gonna want to really make sure i know where the paint is kind of going so we don't get too much on But uh, like I said, not a lot of surface, so I'm going to get her under the light and uh, get this first coat on. All right, so yeah, she is definitely a smaller surface compared to our last two pieces. Um, I'll probably let this sit for just a little bit and then probably go for a second coat. You can see a little bit of the mask I ended up hitting so we'll touch that up fix that up but uh overall pretty happy just a you know i'm trying to find where the hair and the skin and the mass kind of meet. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll probably do a second coat and then paint over the eyes. Give her that uh, nice white that we used. And uh, kind of the same with him. I'm gonna use the same design for the flesh, the skin. He's uh, just a little bigger surface, but still wanna be careful because you have the mask, you have the hair. Uh, I'm no expert, but um, I believe this is going to give us a uh, paler skin. Now, one thing I did not uh, think about, and I wouldn't say screwed up, but probably going to look a little different. I did not mean to do the eyebrows on both of these characters. So we'll have to see kind of how the eyebrows, they might be a little lighter 
then the rest of the hair and that's what happens sometimes when you're not paying attention but let me finish this guy up we made uh, some pretty good progress so there's our eyes kind of whited out this is our second coat of our little skin tone going on there ragcarth flesh i think that's looking pretty good got a few spots that will eventually touch up clean up as far as the mask uh very similar here that one corner piece of the mask getting me but we'll get that all cleaned up I did make the mistake of <laughs> doing the eyebrows. So we're gonna avoid the eyebrows when we do our shade, our next skin tone here. And speaking of which, we got our shade. And uh, this is going to uh, a nice coat on uh, on the face and we're gonna use this on both the male and the female head sculpt and with the shade you can see how liquid it is we're gonna use our medium shade brush and again I'm gonna use my surface because I want to make sure how much shade are we getting because I want to take it easy make sure we don't uh, splash this head sculpt we want to keep this above those eyebrows see how the pale and there I go I'm already almost into the eyebrows man but you can see the difference that the shades making and anytime you're using like the shade or some of your thinner paints we just want to kind of even it out make sure there's not like puddles dark spots or darker forming so yeah i'm pretty happy with what the shade is kind of adding to our face Bringing out a little bit of the lines, a little bit of the details. But uh, I'm going to work on this and I'll come right back. Gotta avoid those eyebrows. Got our wash, maybe. <laughs> Got our wash, you can see where kind of the eye That is coming together and also coming together with her. Very good. Now we're going to get into the hair. Rhino Hide. What an awesome name for a color, right? <clears throat> so we are going to put our base layer down and uh, get the hair started. Kind of the biggest difference between uh, the last two head sculpts we've been working on. Of course, trains coming through. So we got our base brush and let the hair, and because we have a large surface, I'm gonna go a little thicker and what we 
we did. And this is our base, so we can go a little thicker on the base coat. And we're just gonna get those surfaces covered. And once that's nice and even, we'll take a look at it and see if we're gonna need to use a second coat. Rhino hide. I like it. All right, here we have it. Female vampire hunter. A little shade. Still need to do those eyebrows. I did realize that uh, that is like more skin flesh back there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the eyebrows and kind of get that caught up. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, our brownish hair, our skin tone, I think it's coming together pretty good. Still got the mask also to do. And uh, very similar here. I think the hair coming together. Got to do some flesh in the back there. And I think these are on the way to some really good stuff let me know what you think in the comments hopefully you're enjoying this video as we kind of put together our uh, vampire hunting team still quite a bit of work to do on these head sculpts but i'm excited with the progress we are making hopefully you are learning along with me or you know if you see something share it in the comments let me know but i am pretty excited with the route we're taking i feel like these are coming together pretty nice so uh stay tuned we got more to go as we finish up the head sculpts get painting some armor i think uh, we're gonna have some good stuff here so hopefully you're enjoying it and you come back for more, more painting with our Von Burke Studio pieces. Thanks for all your support. Again, like, comment, share. I want to hear from you in the comments. If you made it this far into the video, really appreciate you. Thank you to our channel members for uh, jumping in and being part of the channel as channel members. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Really appreciate that. And until next time, always be hunting. And if you can't be hunting, have fun collecting.